Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys take your time and watch my video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Waze. So for those who don't know what Waze is, Waze is a GPS and navigation application that of course you use for navigating. So why Waze? Why did I choose to talk about Waze today? So in this video, the reason why I'm talking about Waze is because of the features that Waze has been working on to develop, I mean, through the couple of years that this application has been available for us to use. So I've seen that most of the automobile manufacturers are actually integrating their the ways into the infotainment system which means some of them they're going to try to give you an option to either use the navigation system that came with the car or you're going to be able to tune in and use the ways that is going to be integrated so for those of i think uh apple carplay the update for infotainment system is going to come integrated with ways which means you'll be able to choose between google maps or ways so there's a couple of features that i want to share with you that are integrated on ways and well, before I get into that, so Waze, you can download it on your smartphone. So it can be your Android, your um, iOS device. It can be your Windows phone. And you can even use it on the web uh, for those who don't uh, prefer to use smartphone for navigation. So you can do it on the web and then plan your trip and all those kind of things. So there are a couple of features that I wanna share with you. Uh, starting with number one. Number one feature that I like about Waze, more above other things. So it's integration. So Waze is able to read your calendar or your items which are on your planner or on your device and then it's able to check what's happening on which date and then if on your planner or on your calendar you have something like a meeting let's say you have a meeting that's happening in Santen on Wednesday the 20th of June at 8 30 in the morning so what's going to happen is Wiz is going to go and read your calendar and then it's going to calculate the distance from your house or from your source to the destination and then it will propose the best possible route that you can use from your uh, place of origin to your destination and then it will uh, identify and then show you a couple of roads that you can use in order for you to get there in time so pre based on your preference uh, you might be knowing the place but however there might be accident on your preferred route so it's going to be able to suggest the route that you can use to avoid that accident or traffic so that's feature number one so it's going to give you an alert it's going to pop up on your screen and remind you and then it will say if you want to be at your meeting which is happening in center at 8 30 you're going to have to leave 45 minutes before and then this is the road that it's proposed and then you're able to click on that route and then on that route you can check a couple of things which is probably let me say it's going to be feature number two that i want to talk about so you're able to check obstacles obstacles we're talking about things like um traffic we're talking about things like police cameras gravel road road which is closed and then um constructions if the construction the road ways is able to detect that and it will tell you you'll find this and this and that is going to take you this much time to get into your destination so that's one interesting feature that you can use on this so you're able to see if there's an accident it will tell you where the accident happened and then how long it might take you to pass there and then it'll tell you even tell you how many cars are involved in that accident so you're able to weigh your ways to see okay i might take my chance maybe it won't take me long because i pass into that so that's one thing i like about uh ways and another feature is it uses it you can use a voice command so you can just while you are driving already because one thing that i've seen with ways you it doesn't really allow you to uh, to control it once your car is moving so it's good for you to plan your things before you can move so once the car is moving and then you're trying to control or probably maybe change the route or something it will stop or it will say are you a passenger or not if you are not a passenger you won't be able to um, change or make changes on the application because it doesn't want you to use the application while you're driving so that's one feature for safety but it does have a voice control in which means you just double tap on the screen when you double tap on the screen you will say okay ways take me where away or change the route and then do this you give it a voice command but the voice command i know at the moment they're still limited but i ever believe they're working on that to actually improve uh, how it's going to respond to your voice command so it's actually very very interesting so another feature number four feature number four is you're able to record your own voice so just imagine getting lost being directed by your own voice well <laughs> that would be crazy but it's something that i really like about this application because i was actually able to record my voice <clears throat> excuse me though it was not an easy thing because when you record your voice you have to record the commands that Wiz will tell you to say uh, like for example turn right turn left in the next 500 meters turn right keep left all those kind of uh, voice commands so you're going to be reading what uh, we what Wiz is instructing you to read so 
it's very much interesting to hear your voice actually directing you but one catch with that voice recording that you can put in there to put your own voice is uh you're able to say things which are wrong like when it's saying turn right you can choose to say turn left which is gonna be something else so just be careful when you use that feature just be careful as well to make sure that nobody has tempered with your own personalized voice and that voice you can share it so i've already shared mine with other people uh, but uh, the challenge that i had it's when you record your voice it's not going to upload immediately it's going to take some time before it uploads and i think it, it does some conversion on the background because before your voice is available for you to use and before it's available for you to share even with other people but it's actually very very interesting and another thing is uh, the voice prompt, the voice prompt, uh, they're trying their best because when you record your own voice, it doesn't read the names of the streets or all those kind of things. It only reads like the normal voice prompt, like your turn left, keep left, keep right, next 700 meters, turn right, keep left, all, all those kind of things. But it doesn't read the name of the streets as yet, I believe. Uh, imagine if you were to, I don't know how it's going to do that. Well, yeah, probably they're working on allowing it to actually use your voice to read the street instead of you having to be pre-recorded to read but I, I don't know if it's pre-recorded or it reads as you approach the street or i think because it leverages on google maps i think it has already read the streets and then by the time you get there, it you just have to read it out for you so i don't think you'd, it would be able to use your voice to read the street i don't know but yeah but i don't something for us to find out in the future but it's actually very interesting to hear your own voice commanding so in mine I even change when I arrive at the destination, I use my own language which says Roswika, it means we have arrived or we have reached your destination. So it will say that, which is yeah something that I really like to put on there. And another thing which is going to be lastly, it's you are able to, I think it's, you can integrate it with uh, Spotify uh, so that you can play sound and then post the sound as the uh, as it's playing from spotify and then it will give you a voice prompt and then continue with the sound i think the same thing happens when you are connecting it with your with your car so when i connect my ways with with the car i'll tell it i can choose whether to give commands from the phone or it can give the command using the uh the bluetooth audio which means it will be able, it will post the sound of the car and then it gives me a prompt the sound continues sometimes it gets irritating you don't want to have your sound being paused as you drive it and left very much interesting uh just to show you on the voice prompt so i'm closing it and reopening it again so what you have to do is you double you triple tap on the screen and then say okay ways okay ways take me to kailami corner okay okay searching for kailami corner and then it searches uh, unfortunately now you can't use your own voice to pick the destination so it's going to give you a couple of things which are available at Kalami Corner which is the Vapors, Vision Active, CLC, Maker, Woolworths, Nando's, McDonald's so let's choose Vision Active and then I'll say go let's get started, let's get drive, started. Safe. drive safe so that was actually my voice being used there so i'm gonna show you guys what i did um earlier this morning i actually drove to the filling station so you're gonna see how it does so this is the little demo that i did with my ways meters turn left in 200 meters turn right turn right Ten left. Ten left.
Rosica. Okay, yes guys, that was the little demo that I did with Waze. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but maybe just to add on those things that I've shared with you, it's you're able to save your favorite locations like your home, uh, your work, your school, your church, your places of interest so that you don't have to search for them if you want to visit them in the future or if you keep on visit them, visiting them often. And that helps you in case you don't have data or you don't have Wi-Fi connection. So you can just click on the list it will be on top of the list and then you just click on whatever destination you want to go to and then it will go there without having to search on the net or to calculate the root cost the destination will already be cached and that will help you and save you a lot of time you can even use a voice command to do that and probably maybe one catch is if you don't have data and you are the ways just give you a route uh, chances are just follow that one because if you try to change and take the one that you think it might be the best chances are there might be traffic even if it, the road is shorter so just be careful when it comes to that so i don't know what you guys think on that and let me know in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on my next video bye